What are the most important skills in Starfield? What skills in Starfield can be used for every build? In this video, we will go over the most critical skills to pick in Starfield that will work with every direction you might want to go, no matter the build, background, etc. We will add a few bonus skills to add to this list at the end of the video that might be a bit more personal preference. So let's dive into these critical Starfield skills. Within our skill tree, we've got several on our list from the different trees. First up that we're gonna cover, we're going into the physical tree and it's fitness. Fitness is all about extra oxygen and extra oxygen is always going to be more important. It's pretty simple, an easy one to get into and very easy to rank up. Next up, we're gonna move over to the tech tree and the next three to four of these are sort of like a three a b c d so they're all pretty equal but boost pack training this is helpful in fighting and even sprinting across planets to save o2 the reason we might like this better than say and spoiler here weightlifting which is also on the list is that you can get packs with extra capacity mods and suits with the pocketed mod that increases mass capacity so if you're a little worried about carrying too much and you don't want to split your skill points between this and weightlifting all the way over here in physical, you could certainly do that. And if you're not familiar, when you're sprinting, you can see eventually your oxygen starts getting low, but you know what? Boost packs can help you run a little bit and get that oxygen going. Oh, I'm getting low, my boost packs back up. Boost, oxygen returning, boost. So you can see you can sprint for longer, boost, than you normally would. So now my O2's out, but guess what? Oh, I got some boost. Come on, O2, come back. So see how long I'm sprinting here? Oh, there it is again. I can still sprint. I can still sprint. Oh, boost. Come on, O2. That is one long sprint without really stopping. If you time that, let me know in the comments below for how long it was. Next up on the skill tree, we've got something in science. This is something that you're absolutely going to need no matter what you do medicine you're gonna need med packs trauma packs and emergency kits and the more these heal for it, the better off you're going to be and again this is an item that is not very difficult to level up these generally can be pretty easy to come by as far as the med packs go but there are going to be times that you run out of them so getting as much restoration and healing as possible is going to be critical next in the tech tree we've got piloting and again boost packs medicine and piloting are all sort of in a similar tier piloting might be a little personal preference but let's be real this is a space game and no matter what you're doing whether it's hauling a bunch of cargo or you just want fighter ships you're gonna want to have a decent ship and or piloting abilities and you're really gonna wanna get these class B and class C ships. It's absolutely critical for a game like this. Our last one that's tied for this quote unquote third space we mentioned earlier, weightlifting. You can see that I personally went really heavy into this. This is my first go through and I was just really tired of always being overburdened. As I mentioned earlier, there might be some abilities to go into boost packs a little bit more than weightlifting, but I think having the ability to have a higher carrying capacity is going to be huge, I think, regardless. So I do not regret in ranking this up at all. All right, time for our top two. We're going to go back to the tech tree for number two, security. I don't care what you're trying to do in this game. There are safes, security doors, all sorts of things that require you to unlock them all over the place. This is absolutely required. I highly recommend ranking this up. You will not regret it. It's going to end up giving you access to all sorts of good items throughout the game. Just make sure you learn how to easily do those digipick locks. Like and subscribe if you want to see some guides for that in the future. Definitely comment below if you think it's hard or if you think it's easy, give us what you think makes it easier for you. We've got our own techniques, but I'd love to hear what others are doing. All right, the number one of all the skills to pick, what are we gonna go to? There are a ton of options. I haven't picked anything in combat yet, and I haven't picked anything in social. Is it scavenging? Is it dueling? No, it's neither. It's commerce. I have not put a point in this, but after playing for a bit, I definitely realize how critical this is. Again, another one that is going to be insanely easy to level up, but who doesn't want to buy for less and sell for more? Credits are going to be everything in this game. You're going to buy stuff, ships, repairs. You're going to be selling stuff stuff non-stop so leveling this up makes a ton of sense all of these abilities the two in physical with fitness and weightlifting to the top-notch commerce one in social we didn't have anything in combat you just need to get good and learn how to fight medicine and science and we had a number in tech with security piloting 
and boost pack training. All of these are critical. No matter what build you do in game, it will absolutely help you out. Now we talked about wanting to give some bonus ones at the end. These might be more personal preference, but they absolutely could be important. Let's go to the science tree. First up, weapon engineering. Better weapons, absolutely gonna matter. You can craft improved weapon mods at a weapon workbench and research additional weapon mods at the research lab. You wanna make your weapons stronger, this is going to help you do it. Even though I claim that's personal preference, I think everybody should do it. In a similar sense, spacesuit design. You might wanna mod your spacesuits to be a little bit better, lighter, take more oxygen, etc., and this will allow you to do that. Now, this one might definitely be personal preference. If you're looking to open up the outposts and construct those modules so that you can build on foreign planets and maybe get more resources, then I would look into doing this. If it's not your thing and you just wanna fly around the galaxy and just either do missions for other people or steal things etc then you could probably skip this one and last but not least going back over to the tech tree right into starship design this makes for better shipbuilding and again that's if you want it do you want to improve your ship modules do you want to have the superior cutting edge experimental ones is that something that interests you if it is you need this to open that up so that's it that rounds out our most critical skills to rank up and select in Starfield, regardless of what build you're gonna pick. How does that line up with what you've been experiencing and using? We would love to hear what differences you have in the comments below. If you're looking for more Starfield comment, please consider hammering down that like button, share with your aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews. As we try to grow the channel here, it's very appreciated. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day.